hey, didn't see you there. Welcome back to Avid Max Gear Reviews. My name is Steve, and today we're going to check out the new series of sling packs from Orbis. <laughs> Now in this guide version, I've got it in the camo color and I'll just walk you through how I've got it set up and some of the features and benefits of it. So starting out on the shoulder strap itself, I have a nice little zipper compartment here, fly patch area on the outside, and on the inside I've got room for any of my smaller tools and accessories that I'd like to get to without having to move that pack around in front of my body. Now above there, I have a little uh, tool dock station so I can clip in a pair of forceps and I can also pin in a retractor or a zinger to keep some more tools at the ready without moving the pack at all. Now when you do go to move that pack, you just unclip the messenger strap here, grab the handle that's back there and then just go ahead and swing it around. Now you notice that my net came with the whole pack and that's because here on the guide version, there is a molded net holster which is nice, it's got some padding on there so this net is not riding directly against my back or anything like that. And when the pack is back there, I can easily get to the net and land a fish. And then when I'm working, uh, it's secure and tucked out of the way. So on the very front of the pack here, you'll notice that it includes the new Orvis Tippet Whippet, which is this recessed little station, which makes it really easy for me to get to the tippet. It won't hang up on anything, and I can hold from one to seven X and easily get in there and change diameters uh, without having to deal with it catching on any other part of the pack. Inside that main compartment there, there are two bungee pockets, great for any other small tools and accessories. On the back wall, there's two more pockets that you can stash some liters or whatever you'd like, as well as a larger zipper compartment. And then in the main body, I've got plenty of room for any of my small to medium sized fly boxes. Back on the outside over here, I have a water bottle holster includes a little bungee strap there so it's really locked in and I don't have to worry about it falling out. And then over here I've got a little porthole that goes into the main compartment which we'll check out in a second um, where I've got a zinger to my Orvis Pro Nippers. Tons of range of motion here. I can easily clip something off here at the tippet spool itself or I could change a fly or anything like that. And then I have another fly patch area over the main zipper compartment. So let's go ahead and check out what's on the inside. So here on the main compartment, as well as all the other zippers here, I've got a nice large oversized pull tab, makes it easy to grab with a cold and or a wet hand. And then you'll notice I have a small divider right here, which breaks up the main body of the pack. On the small side of it is where I have my zinger station that goes to the porthole out to my Orvis Pro nippers. I also have a small camera tucked in right there. On the other side of that divider is where I have my nice big streamer box. Um, you could definitely put several small to medium sized fly boxes in here, snacks, you know, a larger camera, maybe some extra layers on colder days, anything like that. This Velcro here is for the add-on waterproof pouch, great spot to keep uh, your valuables and anything that you really need to be dry. And then on the opposite wall there, there's a nice large mesh pocket with a zippered opening, plenty of room for stashing a whole bunch more small tools and accessories and also has a nice gear clip for me to keep my keys. So here are the other sizes available in this new series of sling packs from Orbis. We have the mini sling and then this standard version here. So on the standard version, um, going down from the guide, you do lose the zipper pocket on the shoulder sling as well as the molded net holster. You still have this loop here for you to grab onto, swing it around to the front of your body, and you still have the tippet with it, which is a really awesome feature to have here on the standard version. On this outermost compartment, you have one bungee pocket, two smaller pockets here, as well as a zippered compartment, and then plenty of room on the main body there. And to give you a sense of the amount of space on the inside, you can easily fit a bag uh, Costco trail mix with plenty of room to spare. You have the Velcro there for the optional waterproof pocket to add on, as well as one smaller zipper compartment. Here on the mini sling, this is gonna be your more minimalist version, great for the run and gun type day trips. Um, so super minimalist here. You do still have you know, your fly patch, your tool dock station, nice padded support here. No gear loop, because it's a pretty small pack. Um, and then on the outermost compartment, 
you just have the main body as well as the two bungee pockets. And on the inside, to give you a sense of the space in this one, you can easily fit a couple small to medium sized fly boxes. You still have that Velcro zone for the optional waterproof pocket and then a smaller zipper compartment in here as well. So between the mini sling, the standard, and the guide version, Orvis has you covered for whatever your fly fishing needs are. Now, if you'd like to check out the different sizes and colors available, make sure to go to avidmax.com. If you like this video, be sure to let us know, leave us a like and a comment, and maybe even let us know what you'd like to see from us in the future. And until next time, we'll see you out there.